The Minister of Sport, Fiki Limbalula, provided a star-studded launch for his new campaign. The guest list included some of the finest local friends and some Hollywood ones too. The red carpet was rolled out for this good cause and it was an excellent display of style and glamour. Tonight, a star-studded gala event enables Sports Minister Fiki Limbalula to take strides as he stands up for the empowerment of the female youth. The ultimate goal of the Fekile Mbalula Foundation is to inspire big dreams, create opportunities and transform these dreams into concrete realizations and the guests here tonight to uphold this ideal. The initiative we have started it because uh, a foundation to focus on the plight of the uh, girl child. They are the most ravaged when it comes to social ills in our society. The young women are future captains of industry as well as future political leaders. This is just one initiative that I just decided as a person that I wanted to be part of because I think it's life changing. It's a good uh, uh, thing to invest in them whilst they are still young. Yeah, I think if it wasn't for, for foundations like this, I wouldn't be standing here today. I am a living example of people that actually had to give back. I grew up in the inner city and, um, you know, I was funded by people that believed in me. This is one of those efforts and initiatives that will make sure that we bring out well-rounded females that we can be proud of, we can become leaders one day. We are very happy that Minister has taken an initiative to use his influence for a good cause. Others use it for personal accumulation. We are always advocates for young girls, especially young black girls who are kind of forgotten. To empower anyone and specifically, you know, pre previously looking at the past where women were sort of you know, closed down and held down. I think it's extremely important that we allow them to, to have wings from a young age and fly. South African young women really need the motivation and the backup. Starting in a small world, but with a vision of it becoming bigger. I think that we can make an indelible mark in terms of ensuring that we take them to school, but we also bring about issues of mentorship. It is this foundation which perhaps will even produce a female president. Challenges. I think access to education, access to employment and opportunities overall. Well, we need to realise that their strength lies in being a woman and being strong and being sexy and being feminine. Uh, we're not supposed to be men. We weren't born with certain parts and we have to... Thank embrace. goodness. Yes, we have to embrace all of who we are. Girls bring life into this world, so they need to be protected, they need to be given love, they need to be empowered, but above all, they need to be respected and loved. A lot of times our sexuality kind of outshines what our gift is. I think women throughout the history of life, as women have always had a little bit harder than men. The media is not friendly and loving to our young girls. There's constantly messages that say you're too fat, you're too short, you're too dark, you're too light, you're too poor, you're, too, you're not, you don't have the right phone. All these things that are bombarding them on a subconscious level affecting their self-esteem. Being an actress in Hollywood, there's always messages that are challenging and you have to really know who you are. Everyone knows that women aren't paid equally, you know, um, jobs aren't uh, the same. Women have to, you know, risk changes in their career when they become mothers. So it's very important for them to be educated so that they can have more options in life. Do you think that there should be more women in sports? I think there should be women yeah. in sport. I mean, uh, cricket, rugby, I mean, soccer, mm -hmm. Boxing. Mm -hmm. Are you ever going to get a female in your group? No, 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 no. Strict, uh, strict uh, three-piece Mikasa. <laughs> That's how it is. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll bring up another one called Sukasa and have some ladies in it or something. How long is it going to be before women start getting paid the same as men? I hope the answer is tomorrow. Yes, <laughs> exactly, like yesterday. I think we've made strides. Let me, uh, can you answer that for me, please? Should men start being becoming scared that women are going to you know, move into strong positions of power? I think there's enough for everybody, don't you? Uh, yeah, I don't think they need to be scared. I think what we would add would be quite lovely to the pot. We're coming after you. <laughs> I think that men are already scared. Come again? So I think it's a problem when they know that we don't need them. <laughs> are you scared? Yes, that's how I asked you. <laughs> I think there's a lot of powerful women in this world that are really taking over and showing men how to be men. There's nothing more glamorous than the generosity and willingness to empower our youth of today. And no, it's not the money that sparkles. 
but it's the hearts of those individuals. Proudly brought to you by Hennessy Cognac.